that huck to it, huck to it, huck to it. Spit on that thing, you get me? <laughs> now from reading the title of the video, you're probably like, wait, how can someone hate someone like this? She's an angel sent from the sky. She is the girl of my dreams. She knows the, uh, the way to my heart. But one thing you need to remember that it is the internet. I don't know why you're shocked. Everyone has different points of views on this. Even if you're the fucking hero of the internet, you help build 100 homes for 100 homeless families, you help 1,000 blind people to see again, pay for the surgeries, there are still people going to hate on you because it's in the internet nature right now. Why would you? Who asked you to pay for this? You are only doing this for views and to make yourself look good. You are a horrible human being, Mr. Beast. The hawk to girl is a reflective of the first generation of women who have corn brain. It is bad for the generation. The Gen Z brains are rotted. And a reminder, it is not really about pleasure, but hollow performance. The way it sounds like is her husband left her for a hawk to girl. A girl who truly knows how to give a hollow performance. Hawk to and this woman saying, oh, this is a cornbread the Generation Z or Rune. Just a bunch of horny people who watch this video, enjoy it, and find this whole thing funny. It is people like her who are ruining our youth. Well, my friend, I had to break it to you. But whenever you open the whole internet, you are being tested. Literally, there is no escaping your balls from vibrating. Literally, anything you watch on the internet, you are going to get the urge. And it's not always women with their melons out like Baywatch running in slow motion. Anything can give people the urge. Literally, if I do this... Hundreds of people got the urge to go beat their meat now. One thing I'll advise you though, never open Twitter in, in public because... Once I opened Twitter in public and there was just TDs flying left and right and I tried to go as fast as I can but there were people around me, they saw what I was doing and they thought I, I'm one of those freaks who like to watch corn without doing anything. And to the woman who posted this, I'm pretty sure there are worse people than 21 year old girls going out, drinking, doing street interviews and having fun. But hey, everyone has a say on the internet. That's your point of view, sure. I officially publicly hate the Hawk Twa girl. Sick of that donkey. Mr. Goon King, the way it sounds like you really need a Hawk Twa in your life to release all the hate. You need someone to give you that Hawk Twa 9000. Hawk Twa. Shoot some babies so maybe you'll feel better about the whole Hawk Twa girl. I hate it when people praise some bullshit. For example, the Hawk Twa girl. She just said something inappropriate. Now everyone tries to link up with her. She is and will not be a celebrity. Why can't people just watch a video, enjoy the comedy, just have a laugh about it, and just go on with your day? It seems like it's really out of hate to this point where she does something and she got famous from it. And now everyone's hating and they're saying, you will never be a celeb. You are not a celebrity. He's saying that she is not talented. Well, in fact, my friend, I can tell you with that hawk toi, she is pre pretty talented. But I see his point of view on this. We're saying like everyone is just being a celebrity out of their ass. Anyone doing anything on the internet and they become internet famous. But it is true. Anyone can be internet famous with one video. It can change your life. And honestly, watching this video, I just had a good laugh about it. I was like, yep, she's funny. I, I enjoyed the clip, but I didn't expect it to escalate as it does now because she is everywhere now. She is with celebrities. She's doing podcasts. She's going through it. Good for her. Take advantage of the situation, but I don't really think it is the best thing to be known for. But hey, maybe she's talented and skilled in other professions as well. So there are many reasons on why a lot of people are hating on this woman, but I think the main reason is because they are jealous of her situation. I swear to God, put them in her situation. They are going to be taking advantage of every single second of that position that she's in. And another thing I want to point out is I cannot believe there are still people out on the, in this world, men and women, adults, who do not know the meaning of hak toi. I feel bad for them, but also another thing I want to point out, if you are under 18, because there are 13 to 17 year olds watching, watching this channel as well, small majority of it, if you're watching this, I'll give you the definition of Hawk Twa. She's doing the impression from that cookie from Sh Shrek, Hawk Twaing on Lord Farqua. Now tell me, where are the others? Hawk so if you thought it was something haram, you were completely wrong, my friend. She was just doing an impression. And another thing I wanted to talk about is the full interview when it came out. Not the edited version that you've seen, but the whole thing where the YouTuber goes to these two women and started interviewing them. The whole thing, watching it all the way through, was just painful. This guy was shooting his shot left and right to get that hawk toi from that girl. And it was just painful to watch him riz his way up all the way to that hawk toi. The only way to get over Amen. one is get under another. Amen. So, so you got a side piece. 
Maybe. Maybe I got three. Maybe I got seven. How many is on your roster? There's only one I want, but until he's serious, I'm a boy. So how many you got on your roster right now? Maybe four. One. Maybe just said four. one. Maybe four. How many well, you got on your roster? None. You trying to add one to it? <laughs> add one? Yeah, you trying to add one more you? to it? Yeah, that's me. Maybe. I don't know. So I can get your number? Yeah, you can. Okay. Riz level 1000. The, uh, did you see the eye contact that they were having? He will be number one on the Hawk Twilight list. And I can guarantee you 100% the reason why she gave her number to him is for things not to be awkward. Because the, the one on the left looks very, very extremely friendly. And just didn't want to break the guy's heart or just make him look bad on his own YouTube video. But one thing I can guarantee you. He did not get that Hawk Twilight. Or maybe he did because these girls just got out of a relationship. And when you see a 21-year-old girl who just got out of a relationship looking for a rebound, anyone with a cucumba is green light. I personally like her. Not because she knows the way to my heart. Because she seems like a fun friend to have around. Fun person to be around in general. A very likable person in my opinion. And I really hope she's taking, she's going to take advantage of this whole situation. At the beginning, she didn't, but, you know, the first four days, I'm sure a lot of people, a lot of agents reached out, and she did merch. Yes, she did the Hawk Twa spit on that thing hat. This is another these nuts situation where there's going to be a lot of agents, a lot of agencies coming out, reaching out, and taking full advantage of her, and I hope she's smart enough not to fall for it, or at least if she does, not let them take full advantage of her. But unfortunately, the Hawk Twa is her brand. I really hope she has other type of skills as well if she wants to take this whole influencer thing, content creator thing seriously. And if I was in her situation, I would have let that thing die as soon as possible and just bring my other skills and talents into it. Because she got the golden ticket to being a social media person and just make a lot of money online. But meanwhile, she has to talk about the Hawk Twa situation. This is another video I found of them getting interviewed literally yesterday. Of them playing not Smash or Pass, but Hawk Twa or not. Um, I have a game that I want to play with you guys. What is that makes me it? nervous. It's, no, it's not that scary, I promise. It's called Hawk Twa or not. And you tell me if you want to Hawk Twa on that thing or no. Okay. Okay. They might not think it's a serious thing, but if you're going to take this seriously, it is something that you need to change up. That's just my point of view on things. And there were a lot of rumors at the beginning of, oh, she was a teacher, she got fired. She ruined her life. None of that was true. She said she was never a teacher in the first place. For your job. I worked in a spring factory. I'm not a school teacher. <laughs> I watched the whole thing. She actually said that she was not a teacher. She was never a teacher. It was just a rumor. People just were talking out of their asses. And there she was asked as well on... What does she want to do in the future? What is the next thing for the Hawk Twa girl? So now is like you're going to go to L.A., you're going to go to New York. Oh, yeah. Do you think you see yourself like starting your own type of like show or podcast or are you just going to be like an Internet personality? I think we're going to do like a show and then we're just going to be like on a bunch of podcasts and everything else in between. Cool. So kind of just figuring out as you go. Oh, yeah. There's more to come. Don't worry. So stay tuned for those very interesting podcasts on the amount of cucumbas she Hawk Twa. How did she Hawk Twa? I don't really know what they're going to be talking about in a podcast, but I'm just assuming they're going to be talking about how she gives Hawk Twa to certain cucumbas. Because I don't think anyone is interested in anything else. But hey, let her do, who do her thing. If she's enjoying it, talking about it, if people are having fun with it, I would definitely watch that podcast. But yeah, just wanted to talk about this situation. If you hate on her, you, you need to get yourself a Hawk Twa as well and if you reach this far into the video might as well like and subscribe if you're new here subscribe we post on daily basis we talk about things good to have you here anyways take care of yourselves i'll see you at the next one